Morning, Glory. Welcome to Lisa Ann Can. I'm Lisa Ann. This past week when I was traveling to my hometown and visiting with my dad, uh, he and I were out working in the garden and I made a spill in our lawn chair. So I started looking around the shed and um, was trying to find just anything to wipe with. And I said, I know I saw just an old rag laying around. So I found it and I wiped up the spill and hung it over the back of the chair. And a few minutes later, when my dad came to sit down, he picked up the rag and wadded it up and was gonna throw it in the garbage. And he said, you know what this old rag is? And I'm like, no idea. And he said, that's uh, my mother's old clothespin bag. We had it for years and then it started to tear and we hung it out here in the shed. And uh, since then, it just kind of fell off and been laying on the ground for a long time. It was covered in sand and dirt. You can see there's holes where it was folded for so long. And you can still see the sewing machine marks on it. And it's two pieces. One is a little bit bigger than the other. Uh, it's really kind of ugly. It's polyester and I don't know how old it is. My grandmother was very resourceful. She just took whatever scraps she had when she had a need and she would just stitch them together and there was her clothespin bag. So um, during that visit, my aunt came over and I brought it out and I said, do you know what this is? And she said, yeah, that's my old shirt. She said, mother made a clothespin bag out of it. I'm going to remake it into its original purpose and it'll make me happy to save something that had so much love and memories um, all wrapped up in it. I doubt I do a step-by-step. -step. We'll see. Uh, I've looked at a few patterns on the internet. I'm gonna be uh, working with what I've got so I'm gonna be limited in how I'm gonna be able to do it. But I did find this small um, child's hanger in green that I thought matched really nice so I thought I would make it almost like a shirt where I could slip the hanger into it and then it could be hung on the clothesline and slide so stay tuned we'll see how it goes the first thing that I'm gonna do is stitch the two pieces together to make one long piece so the fabric has some pretty significant holes in it here and there. So I'm trying to decide what to do about that. If I may go behind them and reinforce it with scraps that I cut off the edges. So I've just matched up the stripes and I'm going to baste it all together. got it pinned where I want the hanger to go. So that's my next step. And I had to change to a blue hanger because it's smaller. The green one was too long. So that worked out nicely. So I have this very uneven edge here, which is I'm going to trim even. And then I have this lovely yellow bias tape that is going to be perfect to go over that edge. Okay, when I'm done, that's going to look real sweet. Okay, that turned out like I hoped it would. So the next step will be to reinforce the hole here and figure out a way to bring this up, make a box pleat on the bottom. This um, reinforcement around the hole has proven to be very challenging, so I'm stitching it by hand. So, there's the top, and this is gonna ultimately fold up 
can be here underneath, but it'll be open so that you can stick your hand down in there and reach in and get the um, clothespins out. And of course, this can just slip right up in there and be underneath. And that way it can be washed. The hanger will be removable. So the next step right now is to put a matching bias tape on this edge. It didn't quite go as I hoped. The more I worked with the fabric, the more it tore. I suppose it was just too old. But I did try and I have preserved it. It's taken a lot of hand stitching. Got a really big hole right in the bottom. So I'm thinking that maybe it'll just be a wall hanger for some very gentle keepsakes. And maybe I'll just make her a clothespin bag brand new. I think that's what I'll do. So hmm, there are some Bible verses about uh, not adding, you know, new material to old material. Jesus taught that, not using, not putting new wine and old wine skins and don't patch a garment, an old garment with new material. God does know best. Um, a little frustrating and disappointing. But I guess I should be thankful that I found the clothespin bag at all and that a little bit of my grandmother and my aunt has been salvaged. And I'm sure the beauty will be in the love and the gift when I give it to my aunt. So I decided I would patch the hole with an old garment. Oh, there's another hole. How does it look from far away? Probably needs a button. Don't know if it will hold one, but just maybe a button with a loop. Doesn't look too bad. See, it has a little tiny hole there. I patched the big hole there. And it would do the job, I think. And I've salvaged something that was meaningful to someone. So, Hope you enjoyed the video. Maybe we'll take a look in the Bible and try to find those scriptures and some others that I was thinking of while I was working on this. Stay tuned. Welcome back. I wanted to follow up with the Bible verses that I was trying to quote and tr trying to remember. So the first one is found in Matthew chapter 9 and verse 14. And I'll read that one, and then I'll just reference the other ones. Then came to him, to Jesus, the disciples of John, saying, Why do we and the Pharisees fast off, but thy disciples fast not? And Jesus said unto them, Can the children of the bride chamber mourn, as long as the bridegroom is with them? But the days will come when the bridegroom shall be taken from them, and then shall they fast. No man putteth a piece of new cloth on an old garment, for that which is put in to fill it up taketh from the garment, and the rent is made worse. Neither do men put new wine into old bottles, else the bottles break, and the wine runneth out, and the bottles perish. But they put new wine into new bottles, and both are preserved. So I have... Um, struggled a little bit over these verses, not really fully understanding them, and I still don't, 
but I noticed something this time that I hadn't noticed before. Um, it started out with the question on fasting and fasting is related to sorrow and mourning and that's why Jesus said it's not possible for my disciples to fast right now because I'm here with them and that was a thing of joy that God was on earth even though they didn't know it but um, and then he says he shall be taken from them and then when he talks about the cloth, it's like, how does that fit in with the cloth? And he says, when you put a piece of new cloth on an old garment, um, that which is put in to fill it up taketh from. So that word taketh from is the same phrase that Jesus just said the bridegroom would be taken from them. So it has something to do with the sorrow that they would be experiencing and the hurt that they would experience that time after Christ was crucified. And then perhaps even also when he ascended and left for so many days um, without him. So the other um, references to that same um, event is in Mark chapter 2 verse 21 and then in Luke chapter 5 verse 36 and they're very similar but not exact and that's always a unique um, thing to look at so if you have the time look those up and see what you think of them the last reference that I'd like to look at regarding an old garment is found in the Psalms. It's Psalm 102 verses 25 and 26. It says, Of old hast thou laid the foundation of the earth, and the heavens are the work of thy hands. They shall perish, but thou shalt endure. Yea, all of them shall wax old like a garment, as a vesture shalt thou change them, and they shall be changed. But thou art the same, and thy years shall have no end. So a couple of things of note in there is a vesture is some type of covering. It's often fine linen, uh, also referred to as a garment. All things grow old. Uh, the clothespin bag that was my grandmother's was very weak. This verse is quoted in Hebrews chapter 1 verse 12 and when it's quoted it says um, they shall he shall fold them up. So just like when you take a garment off you fold it up and put it away one day you may never unfold it and put it back on again. So I think that's sort of the idea but the heaven and earth shall um, wax old like a garment and God will fold them away and then he will create a new heavens and a new earth that we can look forward to one day. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you again soon.